Let's get some more health and science news now on the programme with our daily science segment. And today we're talking about a possible vaccine against cancer resurgence. Now, testing is still underway, but the early results are very encouraging. And to talk about it, our health editor, Julia Seeger, is with me. Uh, Julia, it's a breakthrough technique um, based on immunotherapy. What can you tell us? That's right. The clinical trial we're about to talk about uh, is actually happening on an international scale. But here in France, the Toulouse University uh, Cancer Institute and the Curie Institute in Paris that are overlooking these tests. And it's actually in Toulouse that the very first French patient uh, received this vaccine in January 2021. It's an individualized therapeutic vaccine. So what does that mean, individualized, where it's simply personalized for each patient? Therapeutic because because uh, this is not a preventive vaccine against cancer, but it's more once you've actually detected, once you've been diagnosed and you started treatment, you can get uh, this vaccine. So it's meant to avoid relapses uh, once you've started your treatment. Now, it's been dubbed uh, uh, TG4050, and it was developed by a French biotech in the east of France next to Strasbourg. It's called Transgen. Now, the results are indeed very encouraging uh, for the fight against cancer and to avoid uh, relapses. We I spoke with Professor Jean-Pierre Delors in Toulouse, who is at the head of this clinical trial, and we asked him how the vaccine actually works. Let's take a listen. Um, What we know is that in a cancerous cell, you have DNA segments, and that this DNA has become abnormal compared to the DNA in other cells in your body. This DNA has created specific mutations, And we can look for these mutations, and once we find them, we look to see if they created little fragments of proteins called antigens. And then we can stimulate our immune system to recognize these antigens through vaccines. What's singular with this vaccine is the fact that in each patient and in each tumor, you will find different, unique mutations. And the reason this vaccine is a breakthrough is because you can develop it in a record three-month time, and it is personalized for each patient. So, Nadia, what Professor Delors is describing here is actually a novel and individualized, as you say, immunotherapy. This actually means when you train your body not only to detect but also to recognize and to fight cancerous cells. The problem with cancer is that cancerous cells often go undetected to the immune system because they have this capability, this sort of camouflage capability. So when the immune system is going to scan for cells to see if they're all in good health, they're not actually going to detect those cancerous cells until it's almost too late, and that's the problem with cancer. Now, the idea here with this vaccine is to educate the immune system against the patient's most relevant tumor targets. So they're going to take that tumor, they're going to sequence it, and they're going to look for these genetic modifications that are the most relevant. Once they have that, and they're going to use an AI predictive model to actually choose these uh, genetic modifications, they're going to be able to train the body to go and recognize those specific cells so that if the person is relapsing, the immune system will intervene and uh, will get rid of those, uh, those tumors. And what are the early results of this phase one of the clinical trials? Well, actually, so far, six uh, patients have been vaccinated worldwide, and 100% of them have actually shown signs of robust T-cell responses. That's when your white uh, blood cells are able to really attack the tumor. So this means that they've actually achieved the, the, you know, to wake up the patient's immune system by activating those killer T-cells, but also by activating what we call the immune memory. Now, it's too early to say if this immune system response will be long long-lasting and effective enough to really cure cancer, but it it is a breakthrough. And it's also important to say that the drug won't become, you know, a mainstream treatment, uh, you know, in in the next few years, perhaps in another six or seven years at least. If it does turn out, though, to be effective, Julia, could this be used to tackle all cancers? Well, for now, the program is only reserved for head and neck and ovarian cancer. It's too early to say if we're going to be able to use it for other types of cancers. But uh, those who are developing the vaccine are saying that it's more for an average level of mutation vaccines. This means 40 to 60 percent of all uh, cancers. It includes lung cancer, breast cancer, but also digestive tumors. All right. Very promising stuff. Thanks very much indeed. Julia Seeger for us there on the program.